What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing the first ever Mystery Tackle Box West Coast Surf Fishing video. So, what I got with me today is my finesse setup. This is like a this is a seven and a half foot light action rod. This is my normally my trout rod, but I'm using it out here in the surf because I got this little Carolina rig kit, and I got this in a recent Mystery Tackle Box. I have the inshore saltwater edition, and uh, this came in one of the recent boxes. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch some fish out here. So first things first, let me show you what comes in this little kit that we got here. So we got five pieces. First things first, we got the actual weight. That's a half ounce brass weight. We got these little, they're almost like little cylinders, little discs. Those are called what's called the clacker. That's gonna be uh, used to make some rattling type noises. We got beads in here, two different sizes, one a little bit bigger than the other, and then our swivels right there. So we're gonna take our weight, you notice it's bullet shaped, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the, the skinnier end in first. So that we're got just like that. So this is the end of the main line right here, and uh, we got our, our weight just threaded on there. So then we got that on there. Next, we're gonna thread on the larger bead. Here we go. Thread this on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so, so far we got the weight and the bead just like that. And that would be actually a standard Carolina rig, just like that. We tied in our swivel next. But this one's got something a little bit extra. So, next is going to be this little disc thingy right here. It's like a little, I don't know what you call it. Looks like a little cylinder with a hole in it. So we're gonna thread that on next. So that's there. And then last is going to be the smaller bead. Thread that on here as well. All right. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like now. We got the weight itself, that half ounce brass weight, the larger bead, this little cylinder piece, and then the smaller bead. And the reason for that smaller piece is when this rattles around out there in the surf, hopefully that'll attract some fish. I don't know if you can hear that. A little bit of rattling going on there. Okay, so we got all that on there. And last things last, just to uh, keep it all in place, we gotta tie in our swivel. Okay, so we got it all tied up now. Let me just show you what we got. So, here's our half, there's our half ounce brass weight right there. The larger bead, the little cylinder thingy mabob there, the smaller bead, and then the swivel at the bottom. And uh, after that, we're just gonna tie on our leader to the end of this. And I've got a leader tied up here already. Very convenient. Basically what this is, is just a three, about a three foot piece of 20 pound mono with a size two octopus hook at the end. And this part does not come in the little kit here, so you can use heavier line, lighter line, bigger hook, smaller hook, whatever you, uh, whatever you want with this little setup here. All right, so there we go, we're all set up. Carolina rig, to our leader, to that little, size two J-hook. I'm gonna start off using a little Berkeley Gulp sandworm. And if you're familiar with West Coast fishing, uh, you guaranteed heard about these before. If you are not, these are basically little sandworm imitations. That's a half of one right there. I like to cut them in half and then thread them on just like you would any other worm or grub. And uh, these can be killer out here in the surf. You can catch surf perch, you can catch, uh, I've, I've actually caught halibut on them before, um, striped bass, pretty much anything would eat this. Uh, but the main, main target when we're using this is surf perch or occasional striped bass. All right, let's go make it happen.
fish on. Finally, on the Carolina rig. Doesn't feel like a giant, but I think it's a little surf perch. Let's see what we got here. Yep, just a tiny little guy. So if you're not familiar with California surf fishing species, there's probably 10 to 20 different species of surf perch. This is one of the smaller ones. We'll get it back. All right, here he goes. Caught that on an artificial sandworm, like I was talking about at the beginning. Another one, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, another one. I think it's the same species. A little, I think it's silver surf perch. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but another little species here on the finesse setup. All right, we're gonna end it on this. Oh, all right, quick release. We'll end it on that one. All right, just kidding, we'll do one more cast. There we go. Now we got the hang of it. Now these surf perch are schooling fish, so a lot of times when you find one, you can find a bunch of them in one little little hole so once you find the school it's uh, pretty easy to double triple and a lot of another same same type of surf perch I think this is a silver surf perch one of the smaller ones but still a lot of fun on this finesse Carolina rig setup so we'll end on this one let's get this one back so there you have it quick little tutorial on how to tie a Carolina rig for some finesse fishing out here in the surf and uh, we only caught surf perch in today's video, but you can catch all kinds of fish on this. I mean, surf perch, striped bass, halibut, really anything that bites out here in the surf, you can catch on a Carolina rig. And the nice thing about this is you can use it on a finesse setup, maybe like a trout rod, just like this. So if you guys have any questions about tying the rig, let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.